Hello everyone and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create the fade to black effect that I used in my still cold video. But before that, I would like to thank you from the deepest of my heart for the amazing feedback on the still cold video. I would have not imagined that the video would get so many likes, comments and views besides that it's not a tutorial. This shows me what great community I have behind my back and I can't thank you enough for that. Also, I would like to thank you for the support in general and for the now already 15,000 subscribers. That's a huge number and I think with your guys help we will reach the 100,000 as well. After that being said, let's start this quick and easy tutorial. As you can see, I imported my video footage as well as a music track to my project so I'm ready to work. The first thing we do is to set audio marker by pressing M on the keyboard so we know exactly when we want the effect to start and end. Listen to the track and pick highs or lows in the audio so you can visualize them in your video footage. After that, we simply drag the video footage above the audio and cut it into pieces by using the S key on the keyboard. Now, we come to the final part, creating the actual effect. So let's say we want the fade to black effect to start between the orange marker 1 and 2. Then we simply drag down the opacity of the footage that is between those markers, so a difference will be visible after replaying it. Drag down the opacity by moving the mouse above the upper edge of the video. Click and hold the left mouse button so you can drag it down and a white line will appear, including a number that shows you the percentage of the current opacity. In this first clip of the footage, we we go for an opacity percentage of 75%. Then we pick the following footage part and drag down the opacity to 50. You can repeat this process with the next one one more time and pull down the opacity to 25%. Now to finish off the effect, simply delete the last clip part so it will turn black for the amount of time you choose. After that, you can set another audio marker where the clip will be visible again and you can go on with any further editing. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Also, if you want awesome videos like this one more frequently, be sure to check out my Patreon page by clicking on the annotation at the end of the video or the link in the video description.